Hi guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am super, 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 super excited to be guest designing for Wild Whisper this month. And so you are going to see a few different projects from me using the um, amazing paper and embellishments and the new Traveler's Notebooks from Wild Whisper Designs. And so if you haven't checked them out, I've left a link down below. They have some really amazingly fun collections. Um, they have stamps, papers, Project Life style cards, um, all kinds of little embellishments. Like, their store is amazing. And so my design team project uh, box for this month has not gotten here yet, and I will do an unboxing for you when it gets here. And so I pulled out, I have some leftover goodies from their adventure collection. And so I was going to pull out and work with those today. So what you are working, watching me work on right now is I am creating some kind of geode type rocks. And I am doing this with um, my Jane Davenport watercolors. And then in a little bit you're also going to see, possibly on camera, but I also pull out... Um, just a basic watercolor set from Michaels because I needed some colors that were not in these Jane Davenport uh, watercolors. And so all I did was I freehand drew the outline of a bunch of rocks of different shapes on some watercolor paper. And this is not like fancy, expensive, crazy watercolor paper. This literally is watercolor paper pads from the dollar store. And so it's not the thickest watercolor, but that's good for what I'm doing because I wanted the edges to kind of be, be crinkly and waterlogged looking because these are rocks and I don't want them perfectly flat on my page. I want them to be able to stand up a little bit. So all I am doing is blending um, all kinds of different colors um, through those watercolors and adding more water, adding splatters, kind of making things look watercolored. And for the 100 Days project that Scrap Dolls is doing with Tori Bissell, um, I have chosen mixed media play. So I'm playing with my mixed media supplies because this is not something that I do very often and I want to get better at. And so I've been looking at the artwork on Instagram um, from an artist called Josie Lewis. And it's her Instagram name is Josie Lewis Art. And if you have not checked her out, you definitely need to. So the idea for these kind of rocks and geos came from her artwork, and she isn't a scrapbooker, she's an artist, and does all kinds of amazing things with watercolors and acrylics and punches, very cool stuff. So I would definitely recommend going and checking out her Instagram page. Um, so basically I am using a bunch of different colors, and I knew that I wanted this to be really bright. And so I'm going to have purples and blues and greens and yellows and turquoises, all kinds of different layers. And I'm kind of letting things dry and adding more dimension so that when I get done, I have a bunch of rocks that look like they're real. You know, they have that color variation that we're going for. And so then once I am done painting them all, and you're not going to watch me paint them all, I was just kind of showing you what I was doing here with my paintbrush and my water brush. Um, once I am done with all of that, I am going to let them dry and then I'm going to fussy cut them out because I want to create kind of a matrix on my background page. So I know that my background cardstock is going to be black and then it's going to have all these really bright colored rocks. And so I went ahead and finished all of my painting of those and then I went ahead and put them on my black cardstock background. And then I am grabbing a bunch of my Wild Whisper 3x4 cards that I have from that adventure collection. And I took that one with the big X's and stitched through all of those individual X's with a color of thread that matched so that it's going to kind of go with everything else. And then I am using my label punch and my tab punch with some of those Project Life cards to create some little areas of dimension that I'm going to tuck in behind my photos. So I've also created a few of these little rocks that I'm going to put up here around my photo on the top level as well to kind of bring that element up the page. I don't want to add a whole ton of other things to this page because it's already very bright and there's a lot of stuff going on. So I don't want anything else that's going to compete with that amazing mixed media work that we have down at the bottom. So my photos for this are three photos of my daughter, and I've printed one as a 4x4, and then I have two 2x2s, two and I've backed them with white cardstock. And I just did that in the Project Life app because it's super quick and simple and easy. And so these are from when we were visiting Big Bear Lake in California. 
they had this place you could go and do these like treasure hunting adventures where you got this bag of miscellaneous like sand and rocks and shells and all kinds of different stuff and you had to use the pans just like you know they have these gold panning things different places um to get to the goodies that were hidden within your bag of stuff and so these are some pictures of my daughter kind of going through that process as well as the treasures that she found and so those are going to go up there at the top around this cluster that I'm creating and then I went ahead and <clears throat> excuse me, took my heart punch, and I have this like kind of rustic shaped heart punch, and I'm going to use that. Some of my rocks down on the bottom, I'm going to punch the heart out so that the black shows through, and then I also took some of the Project Life cards from the Adventure Kit and punched a bunch of hearts out of those as well. So there's a really cool pattern paper you saw just a second ago that is like a bright green with a bunch of splatters, so it looks very mixed media. <coughs> and so I've punched a bunch of the hearts here you see me punching a bunch more and I'm putting those down on my rocks on the bottom as well as up around my photo mats and element up in the top and I really like the little detail that that adds and then I went ahead and took fun foam and kind of backed my photo in such a way that I can have these tabs up at the top with a journaling card that's going to pull in and out so I had a longer story that I wanted to tell, but I didn't want to force it to fit on this layout. So I used that fun foam to create like a little slide area for that journaling to go in and out. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach everything down to my page so that all you have to do is pull that little tab up at the top and you're going to be able to see all of that journaling kind of come out and read the story that goes along with along with these photos. And see there you see it just slides in and out because I did use that fun foam, it kind of gives it a border so it doesn't get lost. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch of enamel dots, kind of in the colors that match all of my rocks down here on the bottom. And I'm going to put some of them up in the top around my photo and around the different little mats I have going up there. And then I'm also putting a cluster down on the bottom around this one random rock. And it seems kind of random at the moment, but that's because this is where my title is going to go. So I already know that I'm going to put my title down there. Um, so I'm just kind of putting those enamel dots there so that I don't forget that that's where I want them to be um, when I get done with creating my title. Um, so that's just adding some of that extra color and kind of bringing, serving as a way to bring the color from the bottom of the layout up to the top of the layout. And then I went ahead and took my Felicity Jane alphabet, and this is the one that uh, Jen Scow designed, and put those down on the bottom to create my title, which is just going to say treasure hunting. And that does it for this layout. So like I said, I'm really excited to be guest designing for Wild Whisper. Um, do click on the link down below and check out their website of all of the amazing products that they have. And I'll be back to see you again soon. Bye!